The following is for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back, guys, to our playthrough of Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones, the third game in the uh, Sands of Time trilogy. Okay, so the prince has arrived, well, I guess in the outskirts of the uh, city. I, is he technically in the city? I don't know. Anyway, kylina has been taken by some uh, really buff, jacked dudes in armor, and we have to go save her now. He'd know that it was not love that drove him, oh. but duty. I was his responsibility. He had made a promise. A promise that was now broken and undone. Yeah, so you can see. All mistakes okay. he had made, the prince meant to fix this. A noble goal to be certain, but a selfish one as well. For he was motivated to ease his own pain. Damn, they're just beating the townspeople. Yeah, this is a completely different tone than the last game. Warrior Within was dark, but this is something else. It was dark in that it just had like a very dark feel. There was a heavy focus on the brutality of the combat, but this is dark in the sense it's like Game of Thrones shit going on right now. The people are just getting beaten by these men, and I don't know who they are. I know these streets. I knew that anyway. I must keep pace with Kylina if I'm to find the one responsible for this. I have my suspicions. Um, can I... No, I think I need to go forward and kill them. They can't see me if I'm above, but... Oh, okay. So that, it didn't prompt me for the... Oh, you got me. There we go. The combat's a little easier in this, too. I don't feel overwhelmed like I did before. I played easy mode in the last game, but for some reason, a lot of the weaker enemies were like sponges. They just took damage over and over and over. But uh, this time around, it feels like the prince has some skill gap over them. That sucks, man. The people. These are his people, aren't they? Can I? Oh, okay. He made that. So what is... Jump in between walls. I don't have to jump towards gap and press A. I don't understand that. How does that make sense? What? Oh, that's cool. That's a new one. That's a whole new thing. Okay. Okay. I I like that. Oh, crap. Bouncing back and forth between enemies seems different to me. I don't know, it feels like it might be using the same engine and design and framework for combat, but I'm not I'm not seeing myself leaping back and forth. But it also could be because the PC port is kind of trash and I had to make a bunch of changes in order to get the game to run um, in a, I don't know, satisfying state, I guess. See, because again, if I move the joystick in a diagonal position, he walks. If it's a if it's forward, back, left, or right, definitively, he's he's fine. Yeah, the jumps are also kind of crappy too, because he clearly was not going to make that. That's cool though. I do like that. That's a great a great new addition. Can I make that? I don't actually know if I can make that. I don't really have a choice, though, do I? There we go. Man, a modern Prince of Persia game with these mechanics would be dope. I know that... Uh, move left or right stick to turn sides. There we go. Gotcha. Okay. But... Um, yeah, Sins of Time is not going to have all the same stuff, would it? Because it's going to try and follow the... I don't know. The basis of the first game. So some of these controls and functions didn't exist in that. Like that jump in between the walls like that. That wasn't in the last two games. That's new to this. Okay, let's see. How many enemies are there? They saw me? Oh, they're just alert. I might be able to make that jump, though. Because they can't see above me. Oh, I missed that one. Dang, he's tough. 
Nice. Oh, you freaking drilled me that time. There we go. The demon enemies in Warrior Within, when you did that jump over and slice down move, they, uh, they split in half. I know some of the games uh, in their specific regions were censored, like the European version of the game, they removed like decapitations and blood, which I thought, I don't know, it seemed a little excessive. The game is mature, so I don't know why you'd uh, take those things away. Didn't work. Damn it, I couldn't, yeah, he's like, Sure, that's fine. He's stuck behind the wall. All right. <laughs> Hopefully we didn't have to kill him to move forward. Well, yeah, let's grab some of that. I took a little bit of damage. Is this where I should reason I will continue my story from here next time? I don't know if it saved it. I can't quite tell. I continue good. Yes. This is a fine place to start the Oh, it's a new game. Let's delete that. Yeah, I don't like how the PC controls the the savability. It's really annoying. Do I crawl up there? I'm not quite sure what direction I need to go here. Oh, I see. Up maybe? Yeah. I gotta run over there, probably. Oh, that was close. Let's take out Bird Guy first. Oh. I do like that. That's a really great thing. Oh, he went down in one. Yeah, we're not meant to go down there. Can't save our people. Now, I, I don't know if it's obvious to you, but it's obvious to me that the enemy that uh, is in charge of all this is probably the Dark Prince, the one with the spiky, burnt-looking skin and everything. I wonder how long it takes before Main Prince here realizes what the hell is going on. Where is kind Asha? who would stand before her stall selling fruits and flowers. Dead. Or the errant children, making trouble as all young ones do. Gone. All gone. Yeah, it's amazing how Yuri is such a great voice actor, but his performance, this wasn't good. I can't blame him, though. I think if the voice acting in this game is bad, it's not because he's a bad voice actor. It's specifically because um, the game director accepted these takes and they were trash not his fault i don't blame yuri at all but it definitely is cringe the last prince from the uh, warrior within was phenomenal that guy was really great he embodied exactly what the prince is supposed to this is just too soft and delicate yuri's voice doesn't quite fit the character i do wonder if he's going to be back though for the remake for Sands of Time, and if that does well, hopefully Warrior Within and Two Thrones get remade, but Ubisoft is making all sorts of really stupid choices with, like, NFTs and trash. I don't really understand what they're doing. I don't even think they know, but whatever. NFTs. Jeez. What a joke. I could spend an entire hour talking about how that's so stupid. Of course, the majority of the dialogue would be, that's just so stupid. Um, okay, probably gotta climb up, right? Um, I don't know. Let's see if I can... Nope, I can't make that jump. Ah, uh, crap. Oh my god, that worked. I can't believe that actually worked. Jesus. I told you this game is old. Um. Does it want me to do... Oh, I see. I have to go the other way. Because I can bounce off one side. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I see. Needs to be here. There we are. Oh, thank God we can save it again. Is 
this where I should resume the tale next time? Yes. Home. And yet nothing is as I remember. Objects once familiar and comforting now fill me with uncertainty and dread. What has happened here? Let's take this as I have as a stealth kill. Oh, there's two, huh? I see. How do I can I I can't jump up that, can I? Oh. What do you know? Done and done. Nice. Yeah, the game's camera is so good compared to what was so trashy in the last game. I complain about that a lot. I, oh god. I don't know if there's... It doesn't look like I can get up there. I'll just fight him. These are really big bird people. One down. And as long as this guy doesn't pull his arrows out, we'll be fine. Nice. Clean and clear and under control. Okay, where are we going? I hope I don't change my tune on this, because I am really enjoying what I'm seeing so far. Where do you want me to go? I can't tell what I can grab onto. That doesn't look grabbable. Hmm. Part of me thinks there's something about that little platform thing. I'm gonna jump, but I don't think I can grab anything. Nope. This guy. Is there, can I grab this? Something weird about it. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, what? That's cool. I had no idea that was a thing in this game. Uh, Alright. Now, they really... Yeah, they, they skimped on the graphics, but the mechanics, they've enhanced quite a bit in this game over the last one. Run along the wall, then press A on the shutter to jump diagonally. Aye. Oh. But not thought that was a thing. Okay, I'm assuming... What do you know? That's cool. All right. Okay. I was, I will admit, I was a little worried this game was not necessarily a cash grab, but sort of a, a, a crappy rushed sequel that just piggybacked off the second game by copying all the mechanics and adding nothing new. But I was way wrong and I'm happy to see that. They did quite a lot to this. I don't know if I can, yeah, there we go. I heard a guy sniffling just now. Oh, I see him. Can I? How the hell do I get up that? I might be able to make it this way. I'm surprised. That looks like it's out of reach. I just gotta trust my instincts a little bit more. Which have, you know, proven to be pretty crappy in most cases. Oh, I missed it. Still, that was a that was a cool encounter. Oh. I'm not using my secondary weapon, and I know that, but I'm fine with it. Oh, 
These guys grunt like monsters, but they're not, are they? They're just people, from what I can tell. Okay, I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. There's no secrets or anything yet, so... Or at least if there are, they're definitely well-guarded secrets. Yeah, I shouldn't have made that noise. Oh, I don't know how you saw me. Oh, dang it. Oh, I forgot I can block. Can I not stab that? I gotta run along that wall, huh? How the hell did we do this? Can't get to that. can I grab onto here? Oh, he can't. Okay, I just time it differently. That's nuts. I Okay, never would have thought that he'd be able to do that. That's what this is for. Okay, I could have done that in the first place. I see. I should be resting now, recovering from my time away, or sitting with father. Instead, I'm forced to run and hide, sneaking about like a common thief, hunted in my own city. I wonder how his father is doing as well. I thought maybe I'd be able to grab onto that from there. I see. How can we... I have an idea. There we go. That's clever! I'm really surprised. Especially at how well that works. I mean, it sort of is a repeat of these kills, but it, it makes sense to me. At least the kills also, the animations look different. I wonder if there are hidden life upgrades we've passed or missed out on already. It's not a pole after all. Oh, I see. The hell was that? Oh, come on. He had that. The game is working against me. Could have made that easy. Why that's even a thing, I don't know. Ah, the spike floors. I know. I'm very familiar with you guys. Should I continue from here when you return? It always wants to do a new save game, which it takes like very little space, but. Whoa! They uh, made some improvements to traps and stuff. Jesus. Whoever designed this is a freaking asshole. <laughs> These are insane. Oh, and spikes. These are ridiculous. X, Y, Y, okay. Is 
something it's is there something that drops out so I can get up there? How the hell do I get up to that point? Or is it just this? Oh. What? There's a plate. I don't know where the plate is. What are you talking about? Oh. They really changed a lot. Pay attention to what the prince overheard as he drew close to where I was being kept. Uh, these guys are not really, uh... Paying a whole lot of attention, are they? Was he just the only one? Oh, there's enemies up there. And there's a guy right there, but I don't think he sees me. All right. Well, I think we're going to wrap it up right here just because it's a good point for us to stop. I don't know if this was exactly 20 minutes. I just spliced two videos together. We'll save that. We will continue, though. We'll continue, though, tomorrow with more Prince of Persia, the Two Thrones, at 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time right here on the Mark and Nine channel. Before you go, though, show some love. Hit the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. The time to hear more. Any feedback for me, leave it in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to take a look at the description box. There's a handful of links that uh, might interest you there, um, including links to the Discord server for the Mark and Nine community if you want to join that, chat with me directly. There's also a link to geekoutpost.com, a media, entertainment, and uh, review website that I run, operate, manage, and design, and write for. If you guys want to take a look at that, um, I don't know, put a lot of effort into that, so I'd appreciate it if you'd, I don't know, give, give me a look and uh, give me some feedback. And stay up to date on the latest video game and movie news. Um, anyway, that's it for me, though, guys. Thank you for watching this episode of our playthrough, and I hope to see you when we continue with more Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones. Later.